it's early in the morning my friends so keep it down a little bit because I'm waiting for a taxi and we're going to go to Manchester Airport because we're going to get Virgin Atlantic flight VS 127 over to New York's JFK it's going to be the start of a few days away in New York City where I'm going to take you guys with us and we're going to do some videos so if you're new to the channel do hit that subscribe button and join me on the journey now without further ado my friends let's go Right, well I did originally book the taxi for 6.30 but I got a text message from Virgin Atlantic this morning and the flight has been delayed by one hour. So we're not off to a good start. However, I wish they'd text me that last night because I've had because I could have had an extra hour in bed. But anyway, things like that happen, don't they, for a reason. So ah, come on, where's this taxi? Right, so we're on the way now to Manchester Airport uh, in Ace ABC. And by the way, I'm not sponsored by Ace ABC, but fantastic. I got the journey from Mansfield to Manchester Airport. I think it was around about £95 or something, which I thought was really, really good. I've also got uh, Norman driving here as well. Really good driver. He's been telling me a few stories about driving to Manchester Airport, etc. It's not the easiest airport to get to, to be honest, because you've got literally got to go over the hills etc and early in the morning it gets foggy and it's not the best uh, route really to an airport but it's quicker uh, than it is to get to Heathrow Airport and uh, we've got Virgin Atlantic flying from here as well unfortunately as I said though it's delayed by an hour but Norman's doing his best and we've got plenty of time so we're all relaxed I said take your time take your foot off the gas and let's just have a, uh, a nice little drive there leisurely drive and look at the countryside I'm gonna get him to wave in a minute it can be it can gonna make him famous. <laughs> Right, here we are, Terminal 2, seatbelt off, and let's get in there and have a coffee. Come on. Right, this is Norman. This is what I love about YouTube. You get to meet lovely guys like this guy. Fantastic taxi driver. In fact, I'd say you are the best taxi driver in the world. God bless you. There we go. Can you say onwards, my friends? Thank you so much. Please subscribe to this channel. He's such a lovely lad. I really enjoyed all conversation with him and good luck to him for his journey thank you, thank you are you going to subscribe yes brilliant well, i've got an extra subscriber onwards my friends you have to be your biggest fan and when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working right well i am a creature of habit and normally normally i fly from heathrow so this is new to me um, not flown from Manchester for a while. I think the last time I flew from here uh, was to Florida, but um, so we need to find out. Virgin Atlantic, and I'm gonna check this little case in because I've got some liquids in it and then I can just not worry about that. I've just got my backpack, so uh, let's get in there and uh, drop off the bag. I've already checked in, I've got myself my online boarding pass on my phone in Apple wallet. However, they'll probably print me another one out, uh, which I don't mind. I've got my passport, I've checked everything. And uh, that wasn't a bad drive, actually. Not too bad at all. Anyway, come on, enough waffling, onwards. There's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be. 
Right, so the Virgin Atlantic terminal's over there for your bag drop. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this coat off, pop that in my suitcase, uh, and then I can put it on at the other end because I'm not going to need a coat on the aeroplane or in here. And uh, the less, less bulk, the better. Got enough bulk from all these fish and chips. <laughs> Right, so head over to Economy. Should be going to upper class early, but I'm not paying that. How much? So I'm going to drop my bag off and then uh, get through, and then I can just relax. I've got hours yet. It's um, 9.44, and uh, take off now, because it's been delayed isn't until quarter past two, so plenty of time. I'd rather have lots more time than rush around. I can have a little relaxation in there, can have a coffee, look around duty-free, not that I'll find anything, because it's more expensive. Have a look around a few of the electrical shops and um, maybe have a, I don't know, coffee, and then a bit later on, maybe a, a red wine or something. Be rude not to, wouldn't it? Come on. Right, so that's my suitcase checked in. Now all I've got is my backpack and uh, no coat, so I feel a lot lighter. So I think we'll get through security now. I've uh, got departures there and uh, go through security, get all my computer stuff out. That's going to be the only bit of a nightmare, really, because I've got to get everything out. Loads of cameras, computers, iPads and the lot. So I will see you. There's not much of a queue, though. It's uh, really quiet, I have to say. 9.49 and really quiet, just have a look. Final call for passengers Emma Stolper and Southport to go for immediate boarding through gate A4. Right, so there you go. So it is 9.50. I'm going to go through now and then we'll see how long it takes to get through uh, security. I'm not on fast track or anything. I'm just on uh, normal economy, cheap as chips. So I'll see you on the other side. Remember, 9.50. And we'll do a time check-in when I get on the other side. See you in a minute. Right, wow. That was the quickest security and most organised security that I've ever been through. It's 9.58. I got through about 9.55 because I've just walked down a little bit, 9.56 say. Um, I said, um, laptop out? Like, no, no laptop. So, uh, iPad out, nothing out your bag. I said, nothing at all, nothing out your bag. Just put your bag on there. I was like, all oh, right, take my watch off, leave your watch on. I thought, okay, strange. Straight through, bag went through, nothing out of the bag. I just took nothing off. You did to do that on some kind of screen and then straight through some kind of new security screening system. Absolutely fantastic. The quickest security that I've ever been through in any of my travels. So Manchester Airport security, first class. That is excellent. Really, really impressed. Very organised. Right, come on. Onwards. <laughs> Honestly, I'm blown away by security. That makes travel so much easier. I mean, if every airport was like that, you'd think more of travelling a lot more. It's the security that puts you off. You get there, everything out of your bags, it's chaos. I, I tell you what, if it's like that at Manchester, I won't be travelling from Heathrow again. Manchester, bang on. Right, let's have a quick look through uh, duty free. Do the uh, the normal, have a look at how much Jameson is, etc. I think it's probably going to be uh, the same as normal, really. It's never any cheaper, is it? Let's be honest. And would you really bother saving two or three pounds or whatever to have to carry it on board and trail it around and traipse it around with you? I don't think so. Anyway, let's go and have a look. Right, 
Right, well, there you go, world duty free. Was it cheaper compared to your supermarkets around the world? Let me know in that comment section down below. Let's have a look at the planes out the window and then see what shops they've got here and restaurants. Let's take a look around. Let's go mooch around and explore, come on. Right, let's have a look uh, what's upstairs. I tell you what, it's good just exploring a different airport. I always go from Heathrow and it's always a nightmare to be honest. So far, this has been really, really pleasurable, which is not something you normally say about an airport. Here we go. <laughs> Right, well, I'm thinking of going in the escape lounge because I'm my Revolut card. I've got Revolut, uh, I think it's metal or something. And for £20, I can get into one of the lounges here for 20 quid. And I thought, well, I've got a few hours. I can sit down, relax a little bit. And if I'm going to have a coffee and a little bite to eat, probably going to work out cheaper to go in one of the lounges. So let's give it a try. Come on. Well, I was going to have the breakfast, but the lady over there just said it's half past 11 and it's sort of like switch over time. So they're going to remove the breakfast and they're going to have a curry on, which is vegetarian, and then they're going to have a shepherd's pie. So I'm thinking, do you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm not going to go for the breakfast, although the sausages do look very good. I think I'm going to go for lunch. It's like, it is that crossover time. I mentioned it before, half past 11. It's kind of uh, in between, isn't it? So I might have to wait till about quarter to 12 and then I can have a glass of wine as well. Anyway, it's five o'clock somewhere. Come on. Right, got myself a glass of red wine. Good selection of beers behind there and wines as well. You've got Baileys and all sorts of alcoholic beverages if you uh, want to uh, have a few drinks before you go on the plane. But remember, do drink sensibly. I have to say that. I'm just going to have one or two and then uh, grab myself a spot of lunch and maybe have a little coffee or a, maybe a tea. Anyway, cheers. Right, let's go and see what's for lunch. Oh, look, some shepherd's pie, some curry, some pasta, and I think they've still, oh, they've still got the breakfast on as well. You know what, I've just gone for some sandwiches, some potatoes and a little bit of salad. I don't want anything too heavy because uh, obviously it looks like my tummy on the flight. Looks all right, not too, not too bad. Still on the first glass of wine as well.
Right, so I've got myself a Diet Coke now. I've had one glass of uh, red wine. I think I'm going to cut myself off there because I don't want to be uh, too tipsy on board. And I'm also filming a video, so uh, I want to keep a straight mind, a uh, clear mind. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of work. Uh, I've also had, a, I've been back and I've had some more sandwiches and some more food. Didn't film that. I thought, we, how many times do you want to see me eat? Um, I'm going to enjoy my Diet Coke. And the gate uh, is announced at one o'clock, which is in 10 minutes. So all's working to schedule at the moment. All's working to plan apart from that one little delay. Right, okay, so gate is A12. Let's get to the plane and uh, get boarded, hopefully. No more delays. So these moving stairs here um, are not working. It's weird, isn't it, how your brain just, I don't know, it feels odd walking on moving stairs that aren't moving. It feels like I'm on a trip. <laughs> Strange, odd. Why is that? Pop that in the comment section down below. It's weird, isn't it? Because if you walk on normal stairs, normal steps, you're fine. But then moving ones, if they're not moving, it's like your brain says it should be moving and then, your feet don't move properly, it's, it's odd. And I always keep saying on these travelators things, if you are not disabled, you don't have a disability, keep walking, it's the idea. It's not to save you calories, burn your calories off, keep moving. to say, I really like Manchester Airport. It's great. Whoops. I have to say, I cannot wait to get to New York. I love New York and uh, obviously used to live there for 12 years. Well, technically it was New Jersey, but uh, you know, we'll overlook that. It was Hoboken across the water, as you might have seen in one of my previous videos. However, um, after spending many Januaries there, I know it can be freezing. In fact, it can be painfully cold. So I'm just looking at the Jet 2 holidays plane there thinking, Oh, I wish I was going somewhere warmer, but I'm looking forward to New York and it's going to be good. By the way, if you are new to the channel, do hit the subscribe button for me if you're enjoying the content and you're enjoying this video. It doesn't cost you a penny. It's down there. Just click the subscribe button and also give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. No, we're not, we're not boarding yet. They're still packing the bags. Right, looks like uh, my group's now boarding. Just been stood here trying to get some signal uh, so I can download uh, James May, our man in India, off Amazon Prime so I can watch it on board. Got my, got my uh, AirPod uh, Pros or whatever, and uh, I can just relax, have a glass of wine and watch that on board, film a little footage out the window and uh, get some video footage for you. So come on, onwards. <laughs>
tell you, for somebody that's six foot four and a half, it's a little bit tight, I have to say. Maybe I need to lose some height and some weight. Well, I think we're all on now. Apologies, it's a uh, slight uh, delay to the departure uh, this afternoon. The aircraft is going to fall out now and was uh, running about an hour late, so the ground team and uh, the crew have done a great job in the aircraft round. And so I think we're just about ready to go. Uh, Pine time today, uh, the company uh, on that basis have uh, given me uh, permission to uh, load more fuel and go a bit faster, so uh, we should get to New York in about seven hours and five minutes. So, um, should be there pretty much half the time. So for those of you who are connecting on one not candidate to a first part of the states and further appeal, um we have to get the first time. Let's say the about seven hours and five minutes routing uh, initially we're heading out uh, to the east so we left uh, and uh, back on ourselves as we uh, get out all over the city centre. Heading out towards the local pool area climbing uh, out over the RFC towards Dublin across Ireland where we start the Tower and Latin Latin thing initially towards the Ukraine and then follow the East City and then uh, towards New York and stuff. So one of the, uh, I want to follow the uh, Bruce more details in this one. I'm by the aircraft today uh, so I'll leave you please to enjoy uh, the flight service. Watch your movie but uh, I will talk to you before the start I'll just send the ticket to you and leave you so uh, I'll be on time for that background.
Yeah. About 180 miles to run, we're just uh, literally over the top of Boston. And uh, I'm anticipating that being a <laughs>
Right, so I'm through immigration. Uh, my visa ran out and my global entry ran out, so I had to queue up with everybody. It was an hour and a half stood in a queue or a line uh, over here. Anyway, it's now half past six. We're going to head over to Martin's uh, where I'm going to wind this video up. I forgot to film through there. <laughs> that shattered. So uh, let's get in an Uber and let's get over to the Silver Fox. Come on. Okay, so we're in the Uber, we're on the way to the Silver Fox. However, a bit disappointed because uh, he's had to go to bed because he's up early uh, in the morning for work. So uh, what we'll do though, rather than just finish it here, I'll show you some sights along the way. You can see uh, New York at night and then we'll wind it up. But he is gonna come on a video uh, later on. And, uh, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Anyway, check it out. Wow, it's been a long flight. Whoa. Right, well, there's not really a lot to see because it is dark and I'm now in Long Beach. Uh, I'm gonna head to Martin's. I don't wanna get my head down because I'm absolutely shattered. Um, that's all from me today. Hope you enjoyed the journey over from Manchester Airport right over to here in New York. Lots and lots of videos coming your way, so do make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed the journey and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.